too, Marinette. It was your first kiss. Cat Noir? What? Uh, dude, you okay? I bet he's jealous of Chat Noir. What? No, of course not. If anything, I'm jealous of Marinette. <laughs> Imagine kissing Chat Noir. Wow. <laughs> hmm? Later. Have you ever thought about kissing Adrian and Crest? <laughs> hey, Felix, can you cover me for patrol tonight? As Argos? No, as Chat Noir. Fine, but you owe me. Thanks. I'm sure she won't even notice a difference. Coco, my lady. How are you this fine evening? Nice try, but I know my kitty. Who the heck are you? Okay, well I thought I did a pretty great job. I'm Chat Noir's twin. How to fill in for him tonight. Chat Noir has a twin brother? I've said too much. Look, do you have any pointers for my performance? Well, first of all, you're too dramatic. That entrance needs more puns. Your bell is way too big. Those thigh highs are a great improvement, though. How'd it go? She liked the thigh highs. She liked the what? Ow. Have a great honeymoon, you two! Don't forget to feed Dusu. I hid their favorite almonds in your secret drawer full of old ladybug photos. Of course you did. Hey, Dusu. Huh, that's weird. Why are the three of us wearing a mux? <laughs> Guys? Guys! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Definitely has a secret. Constantly sneaks away with dumb excuses. Meow? Definitely Ladybug. Do you think Adrian could be Chat Noir? <laughs> We're mermaid for each other, Marinette. <laughs> oh, no. I just don't get it. You're us, but I can't think of one reason I'd possibly turn evil. Well, first of all, my parents don't love me. Okay, well, that's not true. My parents love me very much. Let me guess, your father loves you? Way too much. Are you okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh... No offense, Chaton, but you act like you're touch-starved. Touch-starved? Yeah, you know, like someone who desperately needs affection because they get none at home, for example. Oh, nah. I mean, my father has hugged me like twice. That's pretty good, all things considered. Uh, what about your mom? She's dead. <laughs> Care to explain? What? Last I checked, you were dating Adrian, not Chat Noir. I am! I was just... This is just... A miss! Take it out of context! Yeah? You know, usually I try to actually aim for the cheeks. A week later. Oh no. What's wrong? People keep sending Alia photos of us kissing. How do they even take this picture? What am I supposed to tell Alia? You have to admit, it's kind of hot that... Not helping! Let me guess, Anibis. Look, just tell her you were giving me CPR. I'll play along. Chat Noir. For those of you who saw Ladybug giving me CPR, yes, I'm fine now. Thanks for your concern. I sure am glad Ladybug knows how to perform CPR. Another week later. Marinette, your mom sent me up. You slept through your alarm again. Hmm? I give up. You know that alternate universe version of me? I read through her diary. She was crazy in love with that universe's version of you. It was pretty gross. Mm. I'm starting to think she might have a point, though. Shoot, we gotta go transform. Mm -hmm. Crazy in love with you. Crazy in love, crazy in love, crazy in love. Starting to think she had a point. Crazy in love. <laughs> you coming, kitty catty? <laughs> I live in a city of love. And yet... <laughs> My lady? I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you just pay attention to the task at hand? Enough with this already! We lost another Kuma because of you. I'll go get it myself. Princess? <laughs> oh, Marinette. I'm so sorry. After what Ladybug said, I... Bro, what's wrong? Are you okay? Um, Adrian, I made this for you. I hope you like it. Dude! Huh? Wow, you guys really can't read Adrian's mood, can you? The love of his life just rejected him for good. You two are dense. Uh, he likes someone else? Hmm? I should apologize to Marinette. She shouldn't be suffering from my mistake. He likes someone else, Tiki. I'm such a fool! <gasps> Princess, is everything okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, why are you saying sorry? I should be saying sorry. Why are you sorry? Uh, because the guy you're crying about, he broke your heart, didn't he? I'm sorry. I don't know who Ladybug is. It's someone I don't know has made me hurt someone I do know. Maybe Ladybug isn't as perfect as I thought she was. 
I put her on a pedestal and was blinded by something that wasn't there. And I hurt my princess. Huh? <gasps> I'm so sorry! Uh, it's okay. Um, come with me. Wait, what? Inside? Relax, I just want to fix up this hat for you. Uh, fix up the hat? <laughs> Hold still. Was that hat for him? Yeah, it was. For a boy that is too far from my reach. And I was too blinded by his perfection to didn't notice the one who was truly by my side. Thank you for always being there for me, chat. Aw, you look super cute. And you look beautiful. <gasps> Great job, you two. Go on, fall in love with your imperfect selves and expose the lies your other halves show as perfections. <laughs> Will you be ready, Ladybug, to expose your lies to that boy now? Hawk Moth, you're up next. Hawk Moth has convinced Marin and his Ladybug. If Chat Noir shows up, she's a goner. But I can't just stand and do nothing. There's gotta be something I can do. Wait, I know! Hey, Chloe, why don't you just inspect your earrings? Aha, uh -huh, that's actually a good idea, Aetherkins. Thanks for the suggestion. If anything is gonna disprove your Ladybug, it's this. Mm -hmm. As you're all aware, as you're all well aware, I have used a Miraculous myself. So that means I'm a perfect judge of what is or isn't one of those such jewels. That's odd. I should have lost its camouflage when she took it off of her. Right off the bat, I don't notice any red. Well, aside from the blood. It feels too light and flimsy. As well. <laughs> it's just like Marinette to get the most cheap earrings possible. And upon closer inspection... Aha! I knew it! Sabrina, what does Ladybug say in that interview regarding the miraculous strength? Uh, the miraculous are very durable. It would take extremely high temperature or pressure to even slightly damage one. Correct. But if that's the case, then how to explain this scratch? Impossible! Not even you throwing Marinette around like a softball would be enough to scuff up a miraculous. Therefore, these are just regular boring earrings. Checkmate! That's a W for Queen Bee, and another big fat L for Hawk Moth, like always. <sighs> Roger Cop, release Marinette. I should have known it was too good to be true. I apologize for the inconvenience. I shall search for a ladybug elsewhere. Have a good day. Yeah, go on. Get out of here, you gutless militant. Hm, serves him right. Now, come take back your stupid earring. I'd hate to be seen walking around with that piece of junk. Chloe, you... You stood up for me, but why? Oh, don't flatter yourself, Dupain Chang. I would have done the same for anyone else. Even without my miraculous, I'm still Queen Bee. It is my duty to protect people who've been put in harm's way by that miserable moth. So you're not special. Don't pat yourself on the back because I was doing my job. Smell you later, Baker Girl. Chloe, wait. Thank you for saving my life. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be alive right now. You came through for me, in spite of all the bad blood that's been between us over the years. That has to be the most heroic thing I've ever seen. You could very easily have just stepped away and let me die, but you didn't. I can't thank you enough for that. Ladybug would be very proud of you, Chloe. Oh, wow, I, I wasn't expecting you to say any of that. Uh, can I tell you a secret, Marinette? It's the reason why I treated you like garbage for so long. It's because I'm, I'm jealous of you. What? But you have a monthly allowance worth more than some people make in their lifetimes. What can I possibly have that you don't? A lot more than you think. You have friends that care about you unconditionally. Remarkable, unparalleled talents that you're passionate about. A mother that actually loves you. Every time I saw your face, I'd see the girl I could have been but never was. So I came to resent you. No amount of money could ever grant me the things you've been privileged with since birth. And because of that, I made it my goal to make your every living second miserable. If I couldn't have a good life, then you couldn't either. It wasn't until recently, when Ladybug gave me another chance with a Bee Miraculous, that I realized just how blinded I was by my own jealousy. I want to show kindness to others, just as she did for me, but I can't. If I acted how I really wanted to, nobody would trust me. They'll all think I'm up to something, that it's some kind of trick. So. I have to protect the status quo. I'll be hated worse if I don't. I don't know what to do, Marinette. I'm completely trapped. I'd do anything to get myself out of this mess, but I'm out of options. So I thought I should at least confess the truth to you. I know it's too late to say it, but 
I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> I cannot believe my eyes! Marinette and Chloe hugging? Weren't they mortal enemies like yesterday? And now they're being all cuddly wuddly? What kind of parallel universe do we stumble into? Chloe must have learned something important after saving Marinette. And I'm thinking she might have told Chloe exactly what she needed to hear. Pah! As if Chloe would ever change for the better. She probably just did that out of her own self-interest. Chloe's always full of surprises, Plague. And she never pretends to like anybody. Either way, there's bigger fish to fry. It's time for Chat Noir to take action against Roger Cop. Except, I just can't stop thinking about... Well, could Marinette really be Ladybug? Pigtails? Absolutely not! Don't you remember when Multinos gave her miraculous back to Ladybug right in front of you? You won't ruin Christmas for me, not this year. It's September. Also, I've only known you for three months. And I've known we've always had this unspoken rivalry, but there are definitely... Er, it's not a rivalry? You're just always mean to me. Also, it's not even unspoken you talk about it a lot, actually. What do you mean, no more roller coasters? Marinette, not everyone can handle as many roller coasters as you can. Never back down! Never what? <laughs> Comrade Mayo. Never back down! Never what? Never give up! <laughs> what did I say, bro? Isn't she the best? She's totally your type. Yeah, the best. For sure. Definitely. Bro, have you heard of Jet Noir? Do you think you'll want to collab? Uh, I don't know who that is, but maybe... What? Girl dinner is when you sneak out of the house to stare at a billboard of your model boyfriend's face for three hours. I hate your cringe girlfriend. I love my cringe girlfriend, but three hours might be excessive, honestly. Hello, my lady. You're gorgeous every day, but today especially you're... If you say perfect, I'll strangle you. I was actually going to say the cat's meow, but yours is better, actually. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh, can't believe I'm gonna kiss that guy. That loser? You do know you don't have to do anything. Hmm? Nah, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, it's no biggie anytime. That's her class pres more. Ask him if you need help. Oh, I see. He's cute, right? Short. I'm really sorry about the gum, Mar. I swear, it wasn't what you thought. My sugar king! Wanna die? Today's the day. The first date of me and Cyan Boy. I'm ready. Or better, I wish I was, but no, I feel so nervous. It took me ages to choose what to wear, and now even my stomach hurts. I wonder how Damien will be dressed. Anya! <coughs> Sorry I'm a bit late. Have you waited for a long time? Uh, what? Is this Zion? Why he seems so cute today? Maybe because you're in love? Huh? Oh. So cute. You look really good today. Huh? S Sion looks good too! Huh? Um, well, thanks. Oh. Um, wanna go? Huh? Oh my god, everything is so awkward! Today's date will be at the amusement park. I went here before sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boo! Uh, you okay, Damien? Yes, yes. Come on, Damien. You're an Imperial Scholar now. But I never had more fun than today! <sighs> okay, I'm tired. Why don't we go to a cafe or something? Do you agree? Huh? Uh, she disappeared? But how? I'm sure she was here just a few seconds ago. Cyan is so boring. I'm going home. Is it possible she got bored and just left? No, it's not. Or maybe yes? So, what should I do now? I had everything planned for today. Me and Anya should have had a nice day. But at one point, she disappeared. Maybe she just got bored. But what if she fell somewhere? I looked for her for a while now, but she seems to be nowhere. She neither answered to my calls. Uh, at this point, I really think I should go. Huh? That hair color. It's her for sure. <laughs> Anya! Huh? Where were you? Damien, look what I found! Look what I found! Whoa! <laughs> this peanut balloon! <laughs> it's so adorable, isn't it? Uh. Damien, what is it? So you left me as a follow-up peanut balloon? Anya didn't want to leave Damien. It's just, 
when I saw it, I followed it instinctively. And just then, I realized I lost Sion, and so... <sighs> Wait, what? Really? She's hopeless. <laughs> Oi! Anya, what is it? Uh, I'm fine. I have to hurry. I'm already late to my errands. Huh? Who is that girl? Uh, where I am? Whatever. Mind your own business. You have things to do. Uh, huh? Huh? Hey, can you tell me where I am? Huh? Uh, I don't have time. I have to hurry. Find someone else. Uh, wait! Wait just a moment! S stop following me, weirdo. I'm busy. She's cute, but that won't distract me from my schedule. But anyway, she's really cute. How beautiful! I didn't think you would have broken the rules and asked me to go out this late. Aren't you a little bit too excited? Mr. Green was really kind to help us sneak out at school. Hmm. I guess she doesn't remember what day is today. The reason why I brought her here. Uh, Anya. Huh? Uh, I'd swear I saw the water moving like there was something. Maybe it was an impression. What do you think? Uh, yes, maybe. Anyway, she seems happy. When I was a child, I was never happy. I was educated to act in a certain manner, and talk to my parents and ask them for some love was it an option at all. At that time, I couldn't understand that. I was taught to never show my emotions or vulnerability, even to those who I considered friends. The only thing that made me go on was the goal to become an imperial scholar like my brother. I thought that way maybe my father could have shown some kind of interest in me. How fool I was. Damien is so silent. What is he thinking about? Sorry, I'll read your mind just for a moment. But then I met Anya. Even I was really young. My feelings were real. With her, I discovered I can be vulnerable. That I can have fun and just be myself. <laughs> Zion! Damien! She showed me the beauty in things I've never even taken in consideration. I was lucky I met her. So these are Damien's thoughts? I don't know what to do, but I have to tell him to make me the happiest. Uh, Damien, I'm really glad to be here with you the day of our anniversary. Three months together. Oh, you remember. What are you saying? Of course Anya remembers. Grr. Knowing you, that is not so obvious. You're so mean. Maybe I'm not that good at expressing things with words. But I'm truly happy we're together. With you every day, it's funny and... I was lucky I met you, too! Uh, 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 what is she saying? Oi, your hands are cold! <laughs> Let's head back now or we'll catch a cold. Uh, even his ears are red. Zion is adorable. Once again! What? A kiss, once again! Well, are you serious? Yes, I am, Damien. Mm. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? Hey. Huh? Why are you sitting here? Don't tell me you forgot your keys again. Oh, that's not the case. I just felt like sitting here. Having some fresh air, that's all. Wow, you're actually being nice to me and you're comfortable with sitting here without worrying about others seeing you here. Is everything okay? Define okay to me because I don't know anymore. Did something happen? I just... I... I started to question the way I live here recently. I know I'm paying the rent and all. Don't. I do! <laughs> I do try my best to pay the rent. I take care of the entire house, even tidy up your insane book collection. What's your point? I have to go. Uh, you wanna leave? Yes. Is it because I don't wash the dishes? Uh, oh, so now you're making fun of the situation. Can you please take me seriously for one second? I admire your self-awareness, but this has nothing to do with anything. Did you really think that I would leave because of that? Yes, actually. You make a fuss out of everything. Of course I won't take you seriously. You always decide from your emotions. I know you will wake up tomorrow and change your mind. I wouldn't be so sure this time. You don't have any place to stay over. You often refuse to get money from your clients just to make them happy. How do you think you will survive? You think you'll figure it out magically? And why do you care so much? It's my sinking life and my horrible decisions. You can let me be, and there you go. You get rid of that one drag in your life. Drag? What are you talking about? Can you stop being dramatic and tell me your problem? Wouldn't understand it anyway. Someone like you wouldn't understand. Kava. Uh, 
I I'm gonna pack my stuff. <gasps> I have no reason to go like this. <sighs> I have no reason to stay either. <sighs> Come on, where's this key? Not again. I think I have what you want. <gasps> I still think what you're doing right now is completely irrational. You were right about something. It's your decision, not mine. Maybe you have no reason to stay here. But my door is always open. Our door. This is your house, too. We built it together. Even if you gave up your ownership rights on paper. All them. Keep the key with you. I don't want to find you complaining in front of the door when I come back home one day. All them. If you're planning to see your mother, please let me know. All them! Hmm? How do you keep being nice and caring to me? Why? After everything I said to you. How much of it I was being to you? I don't get it. I never get it. You're always cold and distant to the others. Can't you be that cold man to me too right now? You're making this harder for me. Do you really think that I want to leave here? Leave you? There's no problem with you. You're the perfect one. Acting Grand Sage, I am the mess. Ever since someone heard what happened to me and how you're helping me, they're talking. It's getting worse. He's talented for what? He doesn't know how the life works. And his questionable talents don't even matter. He doesn't have to work anymore unlike us. Just because he's an old friend of the acting Grand Sage. Now you understand why he always smiles and helps everyone all the time, right? It was all fake. To protect his own name. No wonder why he drinks a lot. Exposed all of his own mess too, by himself. How's acting Grand Sage dealing with him, I wonder? He's such a drag. Do you have any idea how it feels to overhear conversations about myself? It's getting out of hand. And the worst part is, I agree with them all them. The more they talk, the more I sink. My past is chasing me everywhere. My thoughts, they don't shut up, just like people. You win. I'm admitting it. You were right about everything you said about me in my life. I'm a failure. Kava. All uh, them. You shut up and listen to what I'm going to say. I will not repeat myself. How can someone qualified and intellectual as you take those sages' words and claim them as a truth about themselves? You were eager to find your own truth. Now you're letting others find it for you. Do I have to remind you who you are? Light of the Crashfire, Kave. Talented, passionate architect. The one I can trust. Open-hearted actions. Impulsive sometimes. Different use of knowledge. Ready to sacrifice his own life for a simple smile. About your past, was it all bad? I don't think so. I advise you to take a look at your past with a different perspective. You helped me a lot than you think. I... Don't forget the dishes and all those rearrangements in your house. I made it lively here. Oh, those? I'm taking them as your non-existent rent payment. You've done nothing. <laughs> Rude. You are being so sweet today, but I'm still having a hard time accepting your words. And this is not okay. I don't deserve your kindness. You don't deserve my rudeness. I should go. I appreciate your effort and everything you've done for me. My decision has nothing to do with you. Like I said, I'm the problem here. And like you said, I should find my own truth. I can't just accept your perception of me for myself and move on. Am I being selfish again? Am I hurting your feelings? I don't want to be a burden to you anymore. When I offered him to stay with me until he figures things out for himself, I knew he was going to leave eventually, but... But why is this harder than I thought it would be? Huh? I should not distract him. He needs this. I shouldn't be selfish. Is he... Why is he distant again? He's acting like that time when we had that fight in our group project. Did I hurt him again? But he backed away when we were... <sighs> Why is everything so complicated between us? He doesn't want to stay here. He was here because he needed a house. That's it. Nothing more. He doesn't want me to stay here. He was just very kind to me. That's it. Nothing more. Am I losing him again? <sighs> One hour later. Hmm? At them? What are you doing here? I, uh, you're having a dream. Am I? Yes, you are. I hate books. Philosophy is boring. I love soup. I'm a people person, see? Would you hear those from the real Athem? Absolutely not. Exactly. Gabriel? Yes, Natalie? Are you mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? I've let a supervillain into your house. And, well, I've seen you upset for less. <laughs> You make it sound like I am the supervillain here. <laughs> Sorry. I'll survive. Seriously, though, do you trust him? I love him. You deserve to be happy. 
Love is an incredible thing. What Emily and I have had, I wish you the same and even more. That doesn't change that I lied to you. I've hidden a big part of my life, and for that, I'm sorry. Everybody has their secrets, Natalie. I understand. This won't change anything between us, right? Of course not. We've always been a good team. Since we're admitting our secrets, I was wondering. You do seem close to Kanalinka. What? Are you kidding me, Natalie? Huh? This is this woman's fault you got hurt. What? No, but... If she was really protecting Paris, she would have given up her power long ago. How can you say that, Gabriel? She... I've seen her close. She is selfish. Without her, there would be no Shadow Noir terrorizing the city. Then maybe you should stop her yourself. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should resolve that once and for all. The next morning... <sighs> Nuru, Plague, Dusu. Today we kill Catalinka. How did we become this? To answer this question, I always come back to this place. But the question remains. How do we become this? Darn you, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Hello there. So you call yourself Monarch? You do know what Parisians do to royalty, right? And you are the butterfly holder from Shadybug's dimension, right? No wonder they want your miraculous with that ridiculous cape of yours. Do you know what goes with capes? <coughs> how dare you use the butterfly miraculous for evil? And you, how dare you ally yourself with those pesky heroes? Because Ladybug and Cat Noir, this universe is hope! While you are its curse! Boom! <clears throat> you don't understand. I started this to save my wife. But now it's my whole family who will perish if I stop. Your wife? So that means that we are the same person. Then you should understand. Why aren't you trying to revive her? Revive? Emily never wanted that. Do you even love her? What? Of course I do! It's because of my love for her that I want to make my world a better place. And for my son. It's already so hard for him to grieve his mother. I know you can change. Do it. At least for him. <sighs> it's too late for me to change. But I admit you sound as wise as my Natalie. Natalie? You don't have one? I'm afraid I never met this person. It seems I'm not the unluckiest Gaby then. Well, it was fun to fight with you. Goodbye. Wait, what about- I told you, I can't stop now. But I don't need this butterfly miraculous. I already have one, so I'll let you be. Damn. Damn. <sighs> Wednesday, St. Peter's Phantom's Bulletin. <laughs> wow, look at all those posters! Oh, Jesus! I especially like this one in particular. Name's Bree Bird. Nice to meet ya. Hands right there. Renee Davis, charmed. Alright, see you there! Bye! See me there? Park Road, Friday, 8 p.m. Dang, girl, that was smooth. I know, I just like spending time with you. You know, it's not a surprise if I go present shopping with you, right? How long did this take you? Welcome back, sweetie. Notice anything different? About four hours. Achoo! Hey, Dad, how's it going? Well, Lloyd should be keeping you busy. I know he's a handful. He is my twin, after all. My roommate's definitely a character, to put the least. Yes, my setup is put together. Yes, Diva's doing fine. I should be fine, Dad. Stop worrying about me. I'll, um, talk to you later, Dad. Bye. Hmm? Hey, Renee, this is Darren. He'll be staying with me tonight. Yeah, hey. Hey, Brittany, could you feed Diva tonight? I'll be headed out. Yeah, sure, whatever. Great, thank you. <laughs> well, this is the place. Yeesh. <sighs> Here we go. Music playing. 4-4, four, four, easygoing rock. 110 BPM. Simple chord progression. Daniel, keyboard plus vocals. Ashley, bass plus vocals. Lynn, guitar. Huh? Three, drummer plus vocals. Well, this is unexpected. Thank you, thank you. Especially the one girl plus. Renee! Renee, you made it! I didn't think you actually come, but you did! <laughs> yeah. I actually thought you were asking me out, not inviting me to a music performance. I thought this was a date, so I came dressed for one. Why can't it be? Hmm? Uh... Rui, we still got a show to do. Uh, forget it, Daniel. You see anyone else paying attention? I guess so. Hey, Bruce. Booth in the back. Ten minutes. Thanks, Bruce. So, how did you guys meet? Ooh, I can answer that question. Ashley and I work at a coffee shop. Daniel and Ashley are dating. Ooh. Bree. Sorry. And Lynn. I don't know about Lynn. I'm Ashley's roommate, Bree. 
How about you guys? We met at school. Two days ago. What's it been? Two months you've been here, Bree? And you already found yourself a date. Yeah, I guess she does. 